First time I met Brother Dick was in Boston when our country was pondering same-sex marriage. And it started off in Boston. Here's a, here's a city that birthed America, had a lot of biblical history. Yeah. And so um, uh, I came home the night before and I called the brothers to see how they're doing. And they said, hey, we can use you out here in Boston. I remember coming home from work and I told my wife, Colleen, no dinner for me, hon. I gotta catch a red eye, I gotta go back east and preach for a few days. So, you know, this is the life that we live and she knew what it was. I got my stuff geared and uh, she took me through the airport. I caught a red eye, uh, rented a car and went to the city hall where it was just packed with humanity. And of course, that's where I met Brother Dick, and uh, we preached a God standard. We do try to do events that change our nation. Once again, I'm bringing this up. December 1 this year, the Supreme Court is going to entertain a court case that just might overturn abortion in our country. We're going to be there. You might uh, want to rearrange your life. You talk about a shooter on sight. <laughs> You'll understand why when we go out and preach, what we say, what we say is, uh, isn't because we just like to talk. So uh, you might want to come out to that. You're going to engage in uh, those people who are radically involved in wanting to murder babies. And so um, uh, it's December 1st. We'll be working out the details on that, depending on how many people we go. We'll need a place to stay. Hopefully we'll find at least a church that'll put us up. We like to look for a church before we get a hotel. The Bible says when you go into a city in Matthew 10, find out who's worthy. And um, you know, when we were young kids uh, preaching, uh, we didn't have any churches. We didn't have a reputation. Nobody knew who we were. Those banners that we flew, we went to the local park, threw them on the grass, and that was our that was our mattress. That's where we slept. We didn't have a lot of money. <clears throat> we didn't go there to be wined and dined. We went there to preach a particular message. So those banners that we flew back in the 80s, they were our mattress, they were our pillows. Uh, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of money, but we still wanted to get the job done. Now, we do have some churches that will hook us up, but depending on how many bodies that are going to go, um, you know, let us know. Don't be moved with emotion. Don't tell me, Brother Reuben, I'm going to go, and then just simply say, you know, Brother, I, uh, I banged my thumb on a door I'm not going to make. <laughs> I don't care. If you say that you're going to be there, you be there. Uh, that's the concept. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, I, I really am going to, I'm not going to trust you. How can I trust you on something like this? Your word matters. Uh, so if you're interested in going, uh, let me know. It'd be great to have, uh, you know, an entire wall of banners around the White House, around uh, uh, the Supreme Court. Uh, 